be able to see the difference between true heroism and heroic acts? There is heroism and certainly in heroic acts. I guess what I'm saying is, is that we, we can find heroism in other than extraordinary acts. Or because I think that the daily commitment and fulfillment of a commitment is, an, is extraordinary. As I became an adult and realized what was required <laughs> to be an honorable adult, I realized. And I, I, I oh goodness gracious, I tried to avoid it. I mean, I tried all kinds of ways because it was like, oh my goodness, you know, this adult thing, this responsible thing, this is, you know, let me hang out and you know, party. You know. Um, but there's definitely heroism, but we need to look in other places because as long as we say that heroism is an extraordinary act of courage or bravery at great risk to oneself, to one's physical self, for example, then I can deny my responsibility to other people because I can say, oh, well, that guy was very strong, he was very brave, he was very courageous, and I'm not very brave and I'm not very strong. So I could never do what he did. I could never be a hero. And so that allows people then to disassociate themselves from their responsibility to other people. If they come to believe that that responsibility requires great bravery, great courage, great strength, you see, then people can say, oh, they can distance themselves and say, well, no, I don't have to raise my voice in the face of mob violence. Because that man who did was strong and tall, you see. So I don't have to do that. But the truth is that we all must raise our voice in the face of the mob.